Hello, welcome to this music and movement session based on Shakespeare's classic comedy, A Midsummer Night's Dream. We're doing five sessions in all, built around the themes and characters of the play and using music associated with those themes. We'll have mostly seated exercises for you. There will be some standing versions later on in the session, but always with a seated alternative that you can do if you prefer. All you need is some comfortable clothing and a little bit of space to move around. So if you're ready, then I'll be playing the piano for you in my home. And Louisa and Rosa will be leading exercises from their home. And we hope you enjoy it. Hello, welcome back. So we're going to start with our warm up. So checking again our posture. So check your feet. Pointing, toes pointing forward, heels under the knees, nice length. We're going to do our Hermia warm up like we did last week. So, in this warm up, we're going to think about um, Hermia. And she's waking up in the morning and she has just been told the day before by her father that she can't marry Lysander, who she loves, but she has been told that she has to marry Demetrius, who she doesn't love. So we're going to think about waking up in the morning. We're going to start with a big yawn and reach up. Uh, taking the arms down. And then we're going to roll the shoulders twice, circling back. Lovely. And then we'll think about like we're reaching in towards our dressing gown with this like nice, big, heavy material. Going to reach and pick up that dressing gown. Then we'll think about that we're gonna thread our hand and arm into that big sleeve. So this is a little bit too big for us. So we really have to reach and then like you trying to get that sleeve on, reaching all the way up and we'll drop the arm and we'll pick up the second side. So like taking up that dressing gown, picking up to really squeeze in your hand here. And then we're gonna Thread the arm through into the second sleeve, reaching up, 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 and drop. Then we're gonna we're remembering how we walk to our father the day before. So we're gonna take four steps, and as we do that, just walking through your feet, taking the arms up into a sort of a fifth position here. So that's four steps. We'll go one, two, three, four, and then we feel like. We want to say no, we, we don't agree with what our father has said, so we're going to go no. So really flexing your wrists, no, no, no. And then we'll just take a gentle curve here, thinking about like scooping your belly in, like the back, someone will pull from the middle back towards the chair, rolling up through the spine, and then just that nice gentle opening for the chest, and then finding your length here. Good. Moving on. So we're going to do this with the music in a moment. Moving on here. So we'll think about um, Hermia's thinking that she has to escape. She can't live with this. So she's already in her head thinking about this, like running away. So we're going to take four steps. So we're going to go forward, forward, in, in. And we'll have a little sort of running um, arms here. We'll go slow motion four and then she's thinking that she's gonna um, fight whoever tries to uh, prevent her from escaping so we're gonna take a twist and a twist and then we're gonna take a slow motion punch diagonal and punch so we're gonna take four walks and we're gonna take a twist and a twist and a twist with a punch so keep that torso twisting and then coming back. Good. From there, she's thinking about how she's going to be with Lysander and all in love. We're going to do a little bit of a ballet arms coming into your first and really feel like you root down to the sit bones, engage with your core. You're going to lengthen into our first arm as feeling that across your chest, reaching the arms away, one to the sort of side or slightly diagonal back and one forward here. We're going to bring them back into our first 
And then we're going to think about like you cut through the air with your fingers so you can turn your hands down. We're going to come into a little lean to the side, opening the arms, but root down through your sit bones. And we're not going to let that the sit bones come off the chair here. And then we're going to finish with a little cuddle. So you're thinking about, oh, cuddling Lysander. Take that to the second side. So we're going to open. First, open into your arabesque to the second side, reaching, reaching, reaching. And then coming back into your first, and then that, like you cut the air, but really feel like you press your feet, your sit bones down. And then this time we're going to sweep one arm around and the second arm around. And then like you sweep across your chest to lengthen. Take the arms down. Great. And then we'll finish with a big reach. Again, root down, like almost like you press your feet to the ground and press your sit bones to the chair. So you feel that length through your spine, reaching, reaching, taking the arms up. And then we'll take a nice big opening for the arms and like you lift your chest here and take the arms down. Lovely. Let's do that with some lovely music that Mia has played for us. Starting with the yawn, reaching up. Here is your pot or your cauldron where you are um, making your potion. So sitting nice and tall. So we're going to start by reaching. We'll think about all these shelves around us with all the things that we need in our in our potion. So we're going to reach a pot over across one side. So there's a top shelf here. We're going to reach, take it to the center, and then we have sort of seven-ish. It's quite fast, so we're going to go open. Oh, open. We're going to over, across, over, on top of your, we're going to turn uh, um, your hand around and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So go, reach and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to reach with the other arm, uh, the other top shelf here. So this is sort of like a gigantic tea bag or something. We're going to dip it or a rat tail or whatever you want to think about. We're going to dip. So you're going to go down and up. So we'll reach and down and up. Next one, we're going to sprinkle something powdery. So we'll sprinkle and then we're going to come up 
just above our cauldron here, we're going to go seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to go sprinkle and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Then it's like we're grinding um, something. So you're going to really, like, well, you can think about squeezing a, a tea cloth. So get that action of the elbows curling in. So we're going to go one and two. And then we're going to take some big jar here. So if you like, you can sort of turn your arms around. So we're going to hold it this way so that we can then empty the whole uh, jar into our potion. So we'll go to take your jar and done. So let's see that again. So we're going to, from the top, we're going to reach and we're going to go sort of seven-ish, dun, 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 dun down. We're going to reach that gigantic tea bag or rat tail or whatever you want to think about that we dip and quickly up. Then we're going to sprinkle and we're going to go from down upwards. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to go grind, grind and that jar that we're going to just empty. Then we're going to stir. So we're going to go big stir really two slow big ones and then we're going to go coming like you would sort of gather it in we'll do four so we'll go one and two and one two three four and we're just gonna almost like you're gonna wipe the foam on the top of that's bubbled off we're gonna wipe and then we're gonna push it to the other side and then we're gonna just see the steam coming up so we're going to do a little bit of with our hand, that sort of steam rising movement. So we'll do circle, stirring, two big or four quicker ones, push the foam, just quite slow, and then look at the steam going up. And then we'll do the same thing from the top. So we'll start with our shaking the powder or whatever, reach and dip. And we'll go sprinkle, 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 and da, 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 da. and we'll go grind and grind and I forgot what's next. And we're gonna go grind and grind and big jar empty there. And then in the end, we're just gonna do the second round. We're gonna not do the big stirring. We're just gonna go one, two three and then like you put the lid down to finish so the last one is just one two three and four great let's try that with some music <laughs> For today's vocal exercise, we're going to revisit the four characters we met in our last workshop. Aegeus, the angry father. Hermia, the reluctant daughter. Demetrius, the offended suitor. And Lysander, the desperate lover. And we're going to reduce each character first into a line and then into one word or phrase just as we did last time. Here we go. So we're going to do, as we've done before in these sessions, we're going to have a line from Shakespeare, um, which sums up 
something about that character. And then we're going to reduce that line to one word or phrase with a gesture. So I'm going to say the line for each character, starting with Aegeus. I'd like you to say that line back to me and deliver it as though you're in the Royal Shakespeare Company and your computer is, or your device is the audience in Stratford. So you really need to project and use your vocal muscles and deliver that line precisely. So as Aegeus, the angry father, we're going to be addressing Lysander, who is the person Hermia wants to marry. And he's accusing him of making sweet talk to Hermia uh, and seducing her. And so his line is, with cunning, thou hast filched my daughter's heart. So let's all say that in our best Royal Shakespeare Company voices. And with cunning, thou hast filched my daughter's heart. Fantastic. And now we're going to reduce that to one word. This is a Jesus word with a gesture to go with it. And that word is going to be filched with a grabbing gesture. Ready? And filched. Great word from Shakespeare. OK, and now we're going to be Hermia, who is the aggrieved daughter. She doesn't want to be told by her father who to marry. And so she's complaining that she's having to make choices based on his opinion. And her line is, oh, hell, to choose love by another's eyes. So let's all give that our best Hermia voice and, oh, hell, to choose love by another's eyes. And we're going to take from that phrase, oh hell, and give her a despairing move as she bewails her situation. Ready? And oh hell, oh hell. Excellent. Great dramatic talents, I'm sure, being shown in all your homes. OK, now we move on to the two suitors of Hermia. And the first one is Demetrius, who has an eye to the main chance. He doesn't really love Hermia in the end, but he thinks this would be a good marriage. And so he's trying to persuade Hermia and her true love, Lysander, to give up the game. And he says, relent, sweet Hermia, and Lysander, yield. OK, so all together, being Demetrius and... Relent, sweet Hermia, and Lysander, yield. And we are going to pick out of that phrase for Demetrius the word relent with this relenting gesture. So all together now, relent with our gesture and relent. Beautifully done. And finally, we come to Lysander who is in love with Hermia and so is furious with Demetrius for trying to take his love away from him. And he has this great line which he delivers to Demetrius. He says, you have her father's love, Demetrius. Do you marry him? You have her father's love, Demetrius. Do you marry him? So let's all say that fantastic Shakespeare line together. And you have her father's love, Demetrius. Do you marry him? And I think we're going to have, as our phrase for Lysander, marry him. And we'll use a little bit of ballet mime. We all know the mime for, for marry by now. And we'll give him the thumb, him, over there. So marry him with our gesture ready and marry him. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Okay, so last week we used the vocals to create um, a mime with our different characters that we had when we looked at the vocals. So we had Eugeus, who is Hermia's father, Hermia herself, Demetrius, who Eugeus wants Hermia to marry, and Lysander, 
who Hermia is actually in love with. So we created our gestures and we put that to some music. So let's recap those gestures this week and then we'll do it again with some music. Okay, so we begin with Eugeus who says, with cunning thou has filched my daughter's heart. And Hermia says, oh hell to choose love by another's eyes. And then Demetrius says, relent, sweet Hermia, and Lysander, yield. And finally, Lysander says, you have her father's love, Demetrius. Do you marry him? Okay, let's do that once more through without the music. So we've got with cunning, and our fingers are touching each other and wiggling around. Thou has, oh, thou has filched, grabbing in the space, my daughter's hands to heart, heart. And Hermia says, oh hell to choose. So we're circling round with our upper body here. Love, drawing that heart in the space, by another's eyes. Middle fingers touching just below our eyes. And then Demetrius saying, relent, so flex fist across your body. Relent, sweet Hermia. And Lysander, yield, bring our hands down, our head comes down. And finally Lysander saying, you have her father's love. Drawing that heart again, Demetrius. Do you marry, pointing to our wedding finger, and thumb coming back him. Okay, so let's try that again um, this week with some music and um, as we did last week we will speak through our first round so we'll do it all the way through once speaking those words as we're doing our gestures and the music will continue so we'll go through it twice and on the second time through we're just going to do those gestures, okay? So no speaking those, those lines the second time through. Here we go. With cunning, thou hast filched my daughter's heart. Oh hell, to choose love by another's eyes. Relent, sweet Hermia, and Lysander, yield. You have a father's love, Demetrius. Do you marry him? Now without the words. exercise with it where um, Hermia, Lysander, Helena and Demetrius are all going into the woods. So we started with four sneaky slow walks with your arms looking around. Then we're going to take one leg to the side, we did that nice dive through to see if we can see maybe it's Lysander who we've lost. Take that foot back and then we'll wave here I am. And then that arm came down and we're going to come into four marches with arabesque arms to go. One, two, three, four. We're going to reach. Maybe it's Helena in the ditch. <laughs> Pull her out. To the second side. Open. We're going to dive through. Step back. And we're going to do waving. Here I am. And then again, circling the arms into the arabesque with four marches. Who's fallen over again? Let's pull them up and back good and then we'll come into that <laughs> signature step here so we did open open in in little pas de chat and clap pat clap <laughs> holding the branch shake the mud and shake the mud we'll go again into our open open in in pas de chat and pat clap, then we'll listen 
Maybe there's someone coming. Is there someone? Can we see someone? Rotating the other way to see there's no one there. Good. Then flexing the foot and then we're going to reach the arms as if the same arm and the leg. So we'll flex, take it in, maybe the ball of the foot here. So that was the heel and the ball, if you like, and lower down or heel and step. We go. Reach and in and then place the heel as you look and come back back into that signature little bit in in hop and clap clap we'll take that to the second side so really lengthening the arms here flex the foot take it in we'll lower the heel to look and again open open in in little hop and pat, clap. Then we did first side, we're gonna open one, open two, and in we go one, two, three, four. And again, if, you, if that's too much, you just go open and in, and then join after that. So here we go two, open, open, one, two, three, four, into that, open, open, in. In, little hop, pause, and clap, clap. Second side, we go one, open, two, four, in. Da, 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 da. Same foot, open, swoping, open, in, in, little hop, and da, da. We repeat that. Again, one, two, three, four. Same foot goes open, open, in, in, little hop, pause, clap. Up. Second side, last time. One, two, three, four. Open, open, in, in, da da. Let's do that with some music. Here we go. One.
feet moving before we come up to standing today and a bit of a clap with our rhythms. So just follow along and we'll have a little bit of fun before we come up today. Okay, we're going to begin with a little bit of a clap on our thighs to start with. We've got a one, two, one, two, one, two. Again. Now our feet move forward, tap, tap to the side, side. Again. Side, side. Back to claps. Meet the other hand that's up. 
and then you're going to bring your hands down in front of you and find the chair with your hands okay so really feeling those twinkly fingers all the way through that part of the exercise so from here we're going to take two plies and this is all in threes so we're going to take a plie for two counts we've got plie for one two and then we're picking our flower and then we're rising up three uh, four five and lowering that flower down so we've got one two pick four five six okay and we've got our flowers because as you as you know now um the flower is what has the love juice in midsummer night's dream so we're collecting all of our magical flowers throughout this exercise and we do that again but using the other hand so we've got one two three four five six and then for seated, this is the only bit that's different. So you're not doing the plie. You have got um, a lift of your leg for one, two. So we're lifting one leg. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? The rest is exactly the same seated. From there, we've got our rises. So we're rising again for two, picking our flower for three, lowering four, five, and placing our flower down six. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you prefer, you don't need to lift your hands off to pick the flower if you'd rather keep both hands on the chair for those rises. That's absolutely fine, whatever you feel most comfortable with doing, okay? Once we've done our rises, we're going to take six counts to turn to one side. So we're going to take one, two, three, four, five, six to have one hand on the chair and we're sideways on. We're then going to use our outside leg to do our six faster swings. So using your outside leg, the leg furthest away from the chair and the arm furthest away from the chair, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six swings. And then we've got four slow swings. So we're taking three counts as we move forward and three counts as we move backwards. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And then we're going to take six counts to turn to the other side. So you're taking one, two, three, four, five, six. So you should end up with your other hand on the chair facing the other side using the other leg which is now on the outside to do your swings. So I will face that way when we're doing it with the music but just to demonstrate I'll come back to this side but stay where you are facing the other way for now we've got a swing for six faster swings using our outside leg and outside arm again. So it's the same thing we're going one, two, three, four, five, Six, and then our slower swings, one, two, three, four, five, six. Really reaching with that arm, four, five, six. And then you've got six counts to come back to face your chair, four, five, six. And bringing your hands down to your sides. From there, we're going to have our twinkling arm section again. So we're twinkling one hand up to the ceiling, and then switching our hands over and this time we're bringing both hands up to the ceiling here and then you're going to flap your hands down and say you've got your wings and bring them back up to the ceiling and then finding the chair again and to finish um, with this section we're going to uh, use our feet so we're going to point them in different directions and really feel like you're, you're pointing your feet really gently, imagining um, that we are fairies. So feeling really dainty and soft with these movements. We're going to point one foot forward. We're pointing one, and bringing that back. It's nice and slow. And the other side, pointing, bringing back to the side, pointing, bringing back. Other leg, pointing, and bringing back. Good. And we're going to do one more rise for two. So we're rising for one, two, pick your flower, three, lower down, four, five, and placing that down, six. Really slowly bringing that hand and softly bringing that hand back to the chair. 
And we've just got a final little twinkle to finish the exercise. So you're going to bring one hand down, it doesn't matter which side, and just twinkle that hand up to the ceiling and let it float down. And then we're going to spread our magic across to one side. So just let your arms float freely through the space to one side and to the other side, floating through the space. And then you're going to bring them out in front of you, twinkling your fingers, spreading that magic everywhere, lifting up and flapping down. And we end up to finish here, standing in parallel position, nice and tall with your hands back down by your side. Okay, so we'll give that a go again this week with some music and just really enjoy it, um, feeling those, there's so many opportunities throughout this exercise to really reach and spread your arms um, on all of these sections that we've got, where we've got so much opportunity to really use um, the length of our arms through. So please do feel like you're going past your fingertips into the space that you're using, okay? So we begin feet in parallel, arms down by our side, standing up nice and tall. Here we go, twinkling one hand up, other hand, and again, last time, both hands up, and coming to find your chair, the A4, two, and pick, rising up, lower that hand, and a one, two, and pick that flower, Lower that down and rise for two. chair now so we're going to come into a little cool down if you've um, done the standing variation so taking your time to um, if you moved your chair to the side so just take your time to set that up so we're going to come back and um, again sitting slowly so I can feel the chair in the back of my legs sticking your bums out so that you can use the power of the legs to slowly slowly come down and then moving the feet forward and finding that good posture here. Great. So let's come into a little cool down here. So we'll think about um, Lysander and Hermia. They've, um, they're falling asleep in, uh, in the forest as a little sort of a theme for this a warm up. But just follow me and we'll do this into some lovely music that Mia's played for us. Sitting nice and tall, start circling your Shoulders back and relax. 